Hey there, welcome to WatchMinded, the channel where we don't just look at watches, we build them. If you've ever wanted to create a cool watch from scratch with your own hands, now's the perfect time. Let's get started. We'll cover what watch parts you need, how to choose the right movement, case, dial, and hands, the tools you actually need, and of course, step-by-step -step assembly, a custom watch. All the watch parts are from AliExpress, which means you can build your dream custom watch very cheap. Stick around till the end. I'll calculate the total budget for all the parts and tools so you know exactly what to expect. If you've ever dreamed of making your own watch, let's do this. First, the movement. It's the heart of your watch. The most budget-friendly choice is the Seiko NH series. They're affordable, reliable, and super versatile. Perfect for modding and DIY builds. Here are some popular options. NH35, automatic with date. Power reserve, approximately 41 hours. Accuracy, minus 20 to plus 40 seconds per day. Hacking and hand winding supported. NH36, day plus date. Same specs as NH35, just with the day complication. NH38, open heart design, no date. Same movement inside, just a different dial layout. NH34, GMT, second time zone. With an independent GMT hand, NH70, NH71, NH72, skeleton versions. Same specs as NH38, but fully skeletonized. Models differ by colors. All of these movements are the same size, 27.4 millimeters diameter, 5.32 millimeters height, which means they're compatible with the same cases, dials, and hands. You can easily swap parts and experiment like Lego. Want something different? VK63, quartz chronograph. Battery powered, approximately three years life. Accuracy, plus or minus 20 seconds per month. So, you've got a design in mind. You go on AliExpress, and bam, you find the one. Every case listing tells you which movement it's compatible with, NH35, VK63, etc. But here's a crucial detail, the position of the crown. It might be at 3 o'clock, 3.8, 4.2, 6, or 9 o'clock. You need to get a movement with a matching crown stem position. For example, if your case says, for NH35 3.8 o'clock crown, that's what you need. Personally, I stick to the classic 3 o'clock setup. It gives more flexibility for swapping parts later. Next up, the dial. Dials come in different sizes and peg positions. It must match your movement in terms of compatibility. It must fit your case. Check the listed dial diameter in the case description. Hands is an easy part. Hands just need to be compatible with your movement. For GMT movements, make sure you get four hands, since you'll need the extra one for the second time zone. Make sure the loom color on the case, dial, and hands matches. It's usually either blue or green. Tools you actually need. I bought a full toolkit at first, then realized I only use third of it. Here's what's actually useful. Tweezers. Flush cutters for trimming the stem. Caliper or ruler. Case back opener. But honestly, a rubber ball works better. Hand press tool. Hand remover. Plus dial protector. Screwdriver or pin to release the stem. Dust blower. I used a hairdryer at first. Don't do that. Movement holder. Tool for installing straps. Gasket silicone grease. All these tools help you avoid scratches, misalignments, and stress-induced therapy sessions. Let's build this thing. Prepare the dial. Every dial has small pegs on the back. Movements usually have two peg holes. If your dial has more than two pegs, you'll need to remove the extra ones. Use cutters to snip the extra pegs, and if needed, file down any bumps left behind. Place the dial on the movement.
Find midnight. Rotate the crown until the date jumps. That's your midnight. Now we can install hands pointing on 12 o'clock. Order matters. GMT hand, if needed. Hour hand. Minute hand. Second hand. Most annoying one. Use a press tool to fix the watch hands in place. Check if the hands move properly and don't rub against each other. Remove the crown and stem. Press here and pull out the crown. You'll need both hands, one to press and the other to pull the crown. Keep in mind that this small tab is only visible when the crown is in the working position and the watch is ticking. Insert movement into the case. Screw the stem into the case crown. Insert the stem. Screw the case back on. The stem always comes long and you need to cut it to size. Measure how much it sticks out and cut it a bit shorter than that. Test fit it again and if it's still too long, trim a little more. Boom, you just built a watch. Let's attach the bracelet to see how the watch looks on the wrist. And now, let's break down the budget for building a custom watch. And for the tools, I'll take minimum prices for good enough parts to build a high-quality watch. Movement, NH35, around 27 euros. Case, let's go with an Oyster Perpetual style case, a design that balances a classic and sporty look. It comes with a bracelet, which is a big plus, around 34 euros. Dial, a great-looking dial can cost as little as 8 euros. Hands, around 5 euros. Total for watch parts. 74 euros. Tools. All tools together cost me around 25 euros. But, things like tweezers, cutters, ruler, or screwdriver, you probably already have at home. So for most people, it'll be even cheaper. All the links to tools and parts are in the description below. Feel free to click and buy. I'll get a small commission at no extra cost for you. This was a general tutorial to help you understand the whole process. I'm not showing the build of a specific watch model here, but don't worry, I'll be assembling plenty of specific models in future videos. So make sure to subscribe and check out the other videos on this channel if you want inspiration and step-by-step -step walkthroughs.